Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you the two different types of global navigation we now have in SharePoint Online. Uh, let me first explain to you what I'm talking about. So uh, with the old SharePoint, uh, with the old and what we call now classic SharePoint, we, uh, if you wanted to build a global navigation, as far as the style of the navigation, I guess, uh, the, the option I'm showing you right now on the screen is kind of the only option that existed. Uh, we could create the drop down menus and we will, you know, you could also create a multi level. You were allowed up to, um, you know, two sub levels. As you can see here, I'm navigating under departments, under HR, and then I'm presented with a few additional choices so I could go to one of the sites um, uh, via my global navigation. Uh, so that was kind of the only way to style our navigation uh, with classic SharePoint and I actually blogged a few times on this topic and how to create this type of navigation. Uh, however, now in modern SharePoint, uh, first of all, we no longer use the classic sites. We no longer use um, the, the old ways of creating uh, the, the global navigation with uh, modern sites and modern pages. We now use what's called hub navigation. Uh, if you're curious what a hub is, what a hub site is, and how to create it, um, you, you can reference my blog uh, as well as uh, uh, a video on my YouTube channel where I describe uh, what uh, hub is all about and how to create it. But today I'm uh, going to focus exclusively on the uh, navigation. Now with hub navigation, uh, we now have two options. Uh, option number one, which is actually a default uh, when you uh, create uh, your hub and start adding sites and adding your uh, sites uh, to, to the hub navigation, um, the first option is called a mega menu. This is what you get to see right now on the screen. As you can see here, uh, I hovered over the department's dropdown. I see uh, some additional headings uh, and then under each heading I see uh, links to uh, the respective uh, SharePoint site. Uh, that's just another styling option that we got. Uh, we still have the, uh, I guess, the classic, uh, what what is we call cascading uh, drop down uh, choice as well. But by default, uh, once you create your hub, once you start associating your sites to the hub and adding them uh, to the navigation, uh, this is what it will look like. Let me show you where you can tweak the uh, the style of your navigation. So you first of all, you need to be uh, at the hub site, right at the parent hub site, if you will, which is where I am. And then you click on gear icon, uh, change the look. And of course, we can alter the look and feel of the theme and, you know, footers uh, and headers and all that. But uh, navigation is what we're after here. And as you can see, uh, there are two options over here, the mega menu, which is a default choice, and then cascading. So if I switch it to cascading, then you will note that it is pretty much the same style of menu that I showed you, uh, you know, back over here. All right, on the classic SharePoint. So let me uh, let me see if it did the change. Look at this. Yeah, I didn't even need to refresh. Sometimes you need to refresh the page, but in our case, uh, everything worked. So as you can see here, I no longer have the mega menu. Uh, I have the uh, kind of the old cascading um, uh, drop down, and again, we are allowed up to uh, two uh, sub levels. All right. Um, now let me show you. Um, let's let's switch it uh, back to um, uh, mega menu. And then I'll show you uh, how to, so let's switch back to Mega Menu. Um, you know, let's go over how to add, uh, create this drop-down choices. Um, you just click the Edit button next to uh, next to uh, the Global Navigation. Of course, you can only do this on the parent uh, on the parent uh, uh, you know hub site. And essentially, you create you are we are allowed up to two uh, up to two sub levels. Uh, so let's say, for example, I want to create another, another, um, um, you, you know, kind of drop down. Maybe you know what? It's a multinational company with uh, different business business units within different uh, countries. Uh, so we are going to create one for Australia. Now, in my case, so you can either create a URL or a header. Right, a header is essentially just going to be the name, uh, the label, and no link behind it. 
Uh, in my case, I'm going to create everything through headers just because I don't have the actual URLs to point to. Uh, but obviously, in, in your case, it would be uh, probably the actual URLs pointing to the specific sites. So I'm going to uh, let's just create um, another uh, another drop down. Here we go. Uh, now, if you want, uh, if you want, uh, you know, you can organize your links uh, either uh, kind of at this level, you know, the main level or any of these levels below, right? So we have one sub-level and second sub-level. So uh, my uh, label uh, called Australia, the, the name of the business uh, or the name of the country, I guess, right, uh, would be on uh, sub-level number one. And then I'm going to create, let's pretend these are different departments that exist in, uh, in Australia. Uh, again, this would be URLs, but in my case, I just don't have the uh, the actual uh, sites, so I'm going to just uh, assign the labels, the the, the little tag, uh, the, well, the little labels, I guess. In our case, now it's very important, as you can see here, uh, I, I want my sales to be under Australia, so I'm going to make it as a sublink. You see, all right. So uh, that's how you put essentially, uh, you move the, your labels between the different levels. Uh, let's do one more. So I'm going to create maybe another choice here, another department. Here we go. Uh, and um, you will notice right over here, uh, I, I cannot, I cannot uh, go beyond level two. All right, sub-level. You see, I can either promote the sublink, which will move it uh, kind of on the same level as, as this, uh, right, as the countries, or I can um, I can make it a sublink here and move it back to where it was. Uh, that's pretty much it. So I can again I can promote it. I can promote it again if I want it to be appearing kind of on the main level. But in our case again it's probably not going to make sense. So let me make it a sublink. Click save and let's just see what we ended up with. Oh look at this. You see we hit the drop down and now we see kind of everything um, on one screen and within one click. You can uh, you can pretty much um, um, end up on a particular site you're looking for, and you can see um, you can see pretty much all the, the departments uh, within one uh, click uh, as well. Now, which option do you choose? It's up to you. Uh, I personally uh, I personally like the cascading uh, drop down, uh, and the reason is it's just a little bit simpler. You know, this way you're not overwhelmed uh, with all the drop down. Uh, you know, with all the, I guess choices that you see on the screen. Uh, at the same time, I do find uh, Mega Menu attractive, and um, um, you know, in my experience, uh, this is a great option if the, you are dealing if you have lots of sites connected to the hub. Uh, and let's say, just like you know, you see on the example on the uh, in this particular example, let's say if, if it's a multinational company uh, with uh, lots of departments, uh, maybe business units uh, in in different regions uh, uh, all over the world. I mean, this is, this could be just a, a great way. Uh, a great way to uh, pretty much display it all on one screen. All right, but if you're a small organization, right, you probably maybe have a handful of sites. Uh, this might be an overkill, right? The mega menu might be an overkill, and in this case, you uh, will probably just be better off with a regular uh, cascading uh, menu. And again, uh, just to uh, wrap it up, uh, it's very easy to change back and forth. Uh, and of course, you know, just a reminder because we're dealing with hub sites here, any changes you make here, right, they will propagate uh, to the actual, you know, sites as well. So in my case, these are just kind of dummy entries, but if they were, this were the actual sites connected to the hub, then of course I would see the same, you know, menu, the same style uh, as uh, on the main hub. All right, so uh, that was uh, that's the only thing I wanted to show you today. Hopefully, you learned something new. Uh, again, as always, uh, feel free to check out my uh, blog, SharePointMaven.com, and I hope to see you again on my YouTube channel as well. Uh, thank you very much, and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.